周知院学園中東部は後東部より徒歩5分の距離にあるその近さゆえに OB を訪ね後東部に訪れる後輩たちも少なくない<笑> If this is anything like other anime I've seen They need advice on how to get out of gangs I'm in too deep, I'm a gang leader Things have gone horribly wrong 失礼いたしますあらかわいいお客さん初対面の人にかわいいだなんて失礼よね Is it? <laughs> 白金系白金系 What is this? Wave aura 白金Oh, it's a little sister. I can sense a plan brewing. You're <laughs> getting close with the sister. Hmm, there's an angle here. I'm not as smart as Kage to see what it is immediately, but I know there's an angle. Kaguya wants to be called. It's a serious business, speaking of gangs. I believe it. <laughs> this is ominous. This music, though. I knew it. I knew it. Getting close with the sister, and they fall like dominoes. Checkmate. <laughs> We got a guy for that. We got a guy for all of our finances. Hmm. I know people like this. In fact, there's someone in my extended circle right now who this reminds me of. There are people who are really good at immediately establishing a dynamic where it's like, I'm the one helping you, you know? A lot of times they turn it on really quickly. It's like at first meeting, one of the first things that comes up in conversation is what you want. And then you can see their minds kind of working and it's like, oh, well, I know a person who can perhaps facilitate this for you. And then they'll downplay its significance and they'll really turn on the charm in that way. Maybe this sounds cynical. I don't think it has to be necessarily. It's just a thing that exists. If we're thinking about life in terms of a game, Or getting things you want. I have a feeling one of the fastest ways there is to really hone in not on what you want, but what other people want or what other people feel they need and be able to have it in abundance. So much so that people feel that by associating with you, they have something precious. There's something about that that's really powerful. And there are people who can cultivate that really well. And of course, it doesn't have to be like this sort of strategic, terrible, manipulative game. It just depends on the ethics behind it, right? But there are people who use it for their own selfish purposes. And I feel like the kind of help that's really potent is more often than not going to fall into a few categories. It's like the basic human stuff, social, love life, money, status, power, those kinds of things. Or maybe to look at it Really zoomed out. It's things that make you feel really good. If you have things at your disposal that give people emotion or dissipate a negative emotion, I think that goes a pretty long way. Emotion in general is just the big driver of action. So the trick for Kaguya is getting his sister to associate her with a positive emotion, a really deep positive emotion. And then the only thing left to consider, which I guess is important, is that she's not using her as a tool, that she actually is helping her and is going to be reliable and that this isn't going to be a losing bargain for anyone. Oh, he is lurking. He is lurking to give his expert opinion and much desired opinion on decimal formats. Yeah, speaking of luring people in with what they want, you know what people really want? Decimal formatting. Oh no, but it's working. She does want decimal formatting. I feel like the friend thing is off the table. They're in two different worlds. <laughs> And then Fruits Basket. Aw, really? That's what this is about? She wants a family? <laughs> I like how far this fantasy is going. Right from Yuki, huh? This is something I've seen in anime that I feel like I'll never understand. This whole, the big deal of the first names. I am satiated by my love of decimals. I need nothing. I want for nothing. She's gonna be a natural big sister though. Yeah, she's the one. She's the one. I think what she gives, speaking of emotional utility, is universal love and acceptance. That you're totally safe. You can say anything, do anything, and she's gonna like you anyway. No pretense. <laughs> of course. Of course. Who wouldn't be? Ooh, this is like totally backfiring. It's gonna end up being this deep insecurity thing where she feels unlikable. But she's sort of like, how do I put it? Stuffy? She's got a lot of stuff going on in her, in, in her, in her inner world. Oh no. There's a freedom that's lacking. Oh no, she's literally spiraling. And gone. But not forgotten. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What is this brewing tension with Fujiwara? I, I hate it. There's so much resentment bubbling under the surface that's gonna come out eventually, I'm sure. <gasps> No, you have gone horribly wrong if you think she's a cancer. Something went wrong somewhere. Exactly. There's a lurking darkness. There's a lurking darkness in this. This guy's a high school student, but already is a middle-aged salary man. It's serious business, <laughs> student council. 
どうだったどうって何がいや、Her demeanor is totally different at home, which makes a lot of sense. あかんしょ、キモ。I sort of love that. It's so real. 会計の人は陰キャっぽいけど親切にしてくれたし。But that Kaguya, oof, terrible. The worst. 緊張しちゃって。Yeah, yeah. No, I totally get that. That's so, that's so well done. It comes across really well. Who is the winner today? I, I don't know if anyone won. Okay. <laughs> Shirogana Miyuki can't lose. That was an interesting one. Sort of set up for the sister. Yeah, that's good happening. Oh, but it's so much more fun. But it's so much more fun. Five no pressure. Honestly, though, if he can cram and do that, that's actually amazing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yes, academic is life. There's nothing else that matters. Ooh. Yeah, the rivals, too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, most confident walk we've ever seen him do through this hallway. I mean, let's be real, though. He's already got a job. He can just drop out. He's got real life skills. You know, accounting is legit, honestly. Accounting, finance, that kind of stuff, it ends up being one of the most fundamental and vital skills that's never taught, at least not at the high school level, typically, unless it's an elective or something. So, you know, he may not know his history dates, but he has a job. <laughs> it probably doesn't hurt that his father's really connected to. I don't know if games is right necessarily, but if you have a plan and you know what you're doing, you know, do your thing. You don't need to observe protocol just for protocol's sake. I'm in Korean class right now for the visa, but also because, you know, I'm learning Korean, but the grades mean nothing to me at all. So, you know, I'm sort of picking and choosing what I do and when I go and I opted to miss the final exam of this past semester and the hellstorm that, that created, like people could just not fathom how I could choose that. I wish I had gone just to avoid the hailstorm of calls and texts I got from the administration and having to do meetings and ugh, it was the worst. Meanwhile, I'm learning a lot. Like I'm really milking the class for, for what it is. There's so much attachment to the protocol. People lose their minds when you have any kind of different take on it. You know, if you have anything specific that you want that doesn't align with what expectations are, there's a weird sort of panic that emerges from that. I'm an adult, you know, living my life, trying to learn and earnestly learning, but I had to sit down and get like reprimanded like I was 10 years old. I don't know. It is what it is. Play your game, you. Wait, but doesn't she speak fluent French? Right, is she one of those people who's naturally gifted but can't take exams? This was a lie, yeah. The one honest person in this room. Uh. I have no worries about her though, she's gonna be fine. She'll land on her feet no matter what. This is definitely our take a ship and eat it moment. <laughs> Proxy war of final exams. Indeed. I'd never given it that much thought before. Thank you, Kaguya sama. Love is war. There's so much pressure. He's made this his whole life. Yeah. Right, this is not your average school. And you got here through hard work and grit, right? And grades. They both see each other the same way. They both admire the other. Just sort of great. <laughs> I take a final exam and crush it. He did it. Pulled it out of the bag. That just means he's he's just really intelligent. He's really bright. Not that effort wasn't involved, but you can't do that without natural ability. You know, some natural aptitude, I don't think. <laughs> Our assistant's gonna hear about this later. He's at the top, so it's like, he just feels relieved he didn't lose it. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Man, I was just thinking about this today. 
It's like, you gotta be really careful what you focus on. I don't know how similar this is to other people's experience, but for me, I always have something shiny. Always have something that I'm I'm ruminating on or thinking about or am fixated on, sometimes to an unhealthy degree, that becomes sort of the, the central driver of action and perhaps more crucially of emotional identity. It's like, this is what is my life right now, you know? And I've been reflecting on the fact that this is a, both a really great gift and a really huge danger because if I pick the right thing, I'll get really focused on something to the point where I can really bring life to it and then that is something that makes me feel really good. But there's a huge danger for me in a vacuum. You know, things tend to sort of hit a flashpoint and they are amazing and great and then they sort of plateau and then I'm kind of looking around for what is the next thing that's going to give me that kind of focus or purpose and it's really dangerous because for me, it's hard for me to have more than one at a time and if I pick the wrong one, let's say one that is way outside of my control or pursuing would actually be detrimental, I end up in a point where I'm in too deep in something that is not really good for me. And then I'm looking around for anything positive to sort of glue myself to, to get me out of a funk. And it's tough because I put so much emotional and mental weight on this thing. There's a quality to it, not unlike addiction. Maybe all addictions are just addictions to feeling good, tying into a broader theme of this video, perhaps. And so if you're relying on a certain thing to get positive emotion, but it's not growing or you can't directly apply yourself to it in a way that's useful, you're at a loss. You know, it's like going without a substance for a, a while. You need a hit of it just to get back to normal. And then you're sort of, you're spiraling. So yeah, going forward, I got to be more conscious of picking things that are one, solidly good, like undeniably good. And two, as being as self-directed as possible. For Miyuki in this episode, grades is a tough one because it's definitely not the worst thing he could be focused on, but there's something about it that seems a little bit risky. One, because it's competitive, so it's not totally within his control. I can't remember the acronym, but there's something about that in making goals. Yeah, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. I think an extension of that would be like non-comparable. I feel like it's a mistake to make other people's actions, which are totally out of one's control, a central benchmark of measuring one's own success. <laughs> <laughs> so much for that. So much for just going back to baseline. We've all been there. We'll all channel box for no reason in the bathroom. I knew she was going to get it later. Crushing defeat. Alright, how'd we do? Ooh, Chica dropped way down. You climbed! <laughs> that gaming really paid off, huh? Yes, my favorite character, Kashiwagi's boyfriend. Oh, we got, okay. <laughs> Let's do that then. Exam flashback. Yeah. Might as well try to do well, right? Make sure you go to the finals, at least. Look, it's strategic, you know? Use your fouls. It probably helps if he has, you know, a job. <laughs> and so, Ishigami Yu closed his eyes. That's well, not terrifying at all for him. The day has finally, finally arrived. What is, what is happening in the storage room? Oh, that's your hand. <laughs> that's what I thought it was the whole time. How did you agree to this? So it's kind of on you. You followed her into this closet. You don't have the authority to do that. Who gave you the right? But is this her looking out for him in her way? I'm waiting for the angle. Maybe there's no angle this time. Maybe she just wants him to pass. At least she gets sardines. He's obviously bright. That's not what it is. Great teacher, Tokuya. <laughs> Studying montage. She was running, which makes sense, I guess. I'm having flashbacks to Full Metal Alchemist with her reading montage. Yeah, that's my thinking. Wait for it. Wait for it. I've fallen for this before. Ooh, status up. Did some stuff. I think she has extra status to spare. Ooh. She played the be quiet in the library card. It's power move. Are they gonna say this out loud? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Spare me. I'm, I really want to believe that this is just a nice gesture. <laughs> I think the music is telling me that it is. Uh, I'm going to trust it. 
Hopefully there'll be no need for that. Uh, is it in some way for Miyuki? It's also for you, though. This feels genuine. <laughs> okay, Miyuki. You weren't totally wrong. What she expects better? A 99? Where did the extra point go? You're a failure. I once got a negative three on an exam and I put it on my refrigerator. I was so proud of it. Like, I didn't know it was possible to get a negative score. It was the only exam that ever went on my refrigerator. Those don't look like good grades. <laughs> Maybe it's on a different scale. Ah. Uh, she's the real her. She's through it. Everyone wins. No, wrong. Ishigami days have long passed. Well, that was really sweet. I'm glad for that. I'm glad it wasn't, you know, a con. Those are really fun, but as the series goes on, you can tell they're kind of planting the seeds of, of the character's depth. One of the most interesting lines was sort of a, just a short moment where they're like, she's looking for a family? Did I misinterpret that? There's a lot that we could explore with that, right? That's going to come up again, I, I think. What is it about you exactly that triggered that in her? Some common thread between the two of them, perhaps?